All right, logically we're back again with another Sudoku. This one is called Killer Nights in the Fog by Megan033. Let's get into these rules. So we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So every row, column, three by three box, contain the digits one through nine once each. Cell separated by, the, by a knight's move in chess cannot contain the same digit. So if you know anything about chess, on a chessboard, you had a knight right here. He could travel to there, or there, or there, or there. So those are knight's moves. So whatever is in this spot right here, obviously can't be here because it's the same box, but it also couldn't be here because that's a knight's move away. Killer cages. Digits in a cage do not repeat and sum to the clue in the top left. So these two equal five, these two equal six. And the grid is partially covered in fog. Correctly placed digits will clear the fog around that cell. All right, so pretty simple rules. Well, let's uh, get into it and see what happens. So first off, three cell six cage is always one, two, three. The five could either be one, four, or two, three. Now this can never be one, two, or three because it sees all of these. So this has to be four and one, which means these are not one. So this is one. Okay, what does that open up for us here? So we've got a six over here. It's the only ways to make six are five, one, and four, two. Can't put a four on this because of the knight's move. So this has to be a one, five, which means this is five and this is one. Okay, now 15, I don't think this is gonna help me too much at the moment, but there's only two ways to make 15. It's either nine, six, or eight, seven. There's nothing precluding either one of those from being correct at the moment. Let's see, what about this 10? Well, the 10 is pretty much given. Can't use one, two, or three. So the only way to make a 10 now is four, six. There's a four there, so that's six, that's four. Now we've got the same type of thing we have here, but we actually do have a six here to remove one of the options. So this cannot be nine, six, because that six sees that one. So this has to be eight, seven. Um, what else do we have? Putting my phone on mute, because I forgot. So we need to have a nine and a five in here, but I don't think that's gonna help us just yet. So this nine, I thought it might've been a little more helpful, but it isn't really, I mean, it can't be six, three, but it could be a number of other things. Like it could be, 8-1. No, it can't be 8-1, can it? Because this would have to be the 8. And let's see both these. So it can't be 8-1. Could it be 7-2? No, because again, the 7 would have to be down here because we've got a 2-3. See, so it's both of them. Can it be 6-3? The 6 would be down here, and it would see itself. So no. So this has to be a five four, which means this is the five and this is the four. Okay. We've got a 12 poking out here, but I don't know if it's a one, a two, or what, in terms of cell length. This five actually now places the five there. Uh, we know there's a four up here somewhere by Sudoku. There can't be a five in any of those or that one, by that matter. So this is five and three, two and three. Opens that up nicely. So now the seven it can't be six, one or five, two. So it has to be four, three. And this four, Four sees this one, so this has to be three, and this has to be four. We could also have done this three, saw that one, which makes that a three, and that a four. But 
Either way, same thing. So now we've got a 14, which only can be made two ways. One of them doesn't work, which would be 9, 5, because this 5 sees both of them. So this has to be 8, 6. And that 6 sees this one. So that's 8, and that's 6. What we got left on this line? We need a 5, so it has to go there. These have to be 7 and 9, which gives me this 8 and 7. This 6 here removes the 9, 6 from there, and the 8 sees that, so that's 7 and 8. Clean that up. These have to be 2, 6, 9. This can't be 6. That's not a 4. This 8 can't be 7, 1, because the 7 sees both of them. Can't be 5, 3, because the 5 sees both of them. So the only thing it can be is 6, 2, which means this is 2 and this is 6. Now this can't be a 2, so it is a 9. These are not 9s. What do we got? Where's the next good place to go? Is it going to be this 10? Now it could be 9, 1. Can't be 8, 2. Could be 7, 3. Can't be 6, 4. So this is not 7. This is not 9. So this is not... Sorry, this is not 3. This is not 1. But that 3 sees that, so that is 9, 1. Okay. Now we know the 9 has to go here, the 8 goes there, and these four digits, we need a 2, it can't go there, so it's, this is a 4-2 pair, because this 2 sees that one and this 2 sees that one. Uh, the 4 doesn't pick up either of those, so we need a 7, which has to go here, because it's Sudoku. And the other digit is a 3. So now we know what these two digits are. 1, which sees that. So this is the 1. And this is the 5. This is 2, 4, and 9. It can't be 2. So it's 4 and 9, which means this is the 2. This is the 4. That 6 sees that. So that's 2 and 6. Now these have to be... 3, 7, and 8. That's not 7. That's not 8. Okay. Uh, do we have anything in this box, or do I need to move on to these 12s? What about the 2? The 2 can't be in any of those. It can't be there. So it's got to be one of these. The 6 can't be in any of those. But that's not quite helpful. Put them in though, just for the sake of it. Seven can't be any of those, so this is seven. The eight can't be in these or that one, so one of these is eight. And then nine. Nine could be anywhere. Okay, so that gives me an eight down here somewhere. Uh, three in one of these. No, I can't rule this 3 out, because this could still be a 9. What else did I have? 4 has to be down here. So we've got a 4x wing, which means one of these is a 4. And one of these is a 4. So we've got double x wings on 4s. The 5 is in one of these two. Got these three digits right here, probably would have been the better way to go about this. And there also has to be a one. So one five eight, one eight, and five eight. Let's get rid of that notation. Okay. 
So, I don't know if this 12 is all that helpful. What can this be? Can't be a 1. It can't be a... Well, I do not know that. Because I don't know that this is a 2 cell. So that would have been bad logic. How about this one? Can't be 1, can't be 2, could be 3, can't be 4, 5, or 6, or 7. So 8 or 9, and it can't be 8 actually. So this is a 3, 9. Which means this has to be the 8. And this is not an 8. Now this can't be a 1. So that's a 5, and that's an 8 and 1. So what else do we have in this row? We need a 1 in this row. It's got to be one of these, so this is a 1-4 pair. This has to be 7. So what's left up here? I need to get a 2 in. I could go there or there. The 4 is down here, we know. The 6 could be there or there, and then the 9, which could be anywhere, okay? Let's go up here for a sec. These have to be 1 and 6, and these have to be th 2 and 3. That did less than I hope it would have. Okay, can we do something with this maybe? The 2 can't go there, so it's got to be in here somewhere. The three can't be over there, and it can't be here, so it's in one of these. The six could be in any of them. Seven's already there, and so is the nine. So that doesn't do me much good beyond those being two and three. So it'd be very nice if I could figure out if this was a, a two-cell killer cage, or if it's just a, if it continues somewhere else. What about in here? I'm going to go to Sudoku in a second, but let me just do a couple more little hunches first. So we know four's over there. The six could be here or near there. The seven has to be over here. And it looks like it could be any of them. The nine... Yeah, the 9 can still be everywhere. Okay. Let's just take a look at Sudoku real quick. So 1 can't be in any of those. So it's in one of these. How about down here? Yeah, we know it's one of them. Oh, wait. So there we go. We got a 1. We got an X-Wing and 1s. So that's not a 1, which means this is a 1. Okay. This is a 2-cell 12, so that can't be a 2. So this one has to be either five, five, no, three, six, or eight. Can't be the two. So this would have, well, this can't be six, obviously, because it would have to be two sixes. So this either is a nine or a four, and it can't be a four. So this is the nine and the three. Okay. Now that nine gives me the seven. Get on the right thing, would you? Seven and nine. Two and three. Doesn't quite see down there. Okay. Can we fill in any of these? We know the two is over here somewhere. The five cannot be there or there, so it's there. So we just have a 2 and an 8, and this can't be an 8. So this is 8, this is 2, this is not 8. These are 6 and 9, that's 6, that's 9. This is going to open things up, 3, 9. These we know are 1 and 4 already. These are 2 and 8, that's the 2, that's the 8 because of that. These are 4, 7. Four, six, and seven. That's not seven. That's not four. That's not six. That's four. Because that's six right there. Saw it. So these are six and seven. Is there something seeing them? Don't see so off top. 
but we've got this here, so one and four, and that one goes up and gives me the six and the one. Okay, so we've got these two, which are five and eight. So this is five, this is eight. There's an 11 that's hiding in the fog. So that's the six, seven, and six. Uh, these four and nine, we don't have them settled yet, but we will soon. This has to be a two. These have to be three and seven. That can't be a three. So that's seven, that's three, that's three, that's seven. And that's three in the corner there, as it is shooting off fireworks for us. And this is two and nine. This can't be nine. So that's two and nine, four and nine. And these are four and six. That's six and that's four. And let's check. And we are good. So. That was Killer Nights in the Fog by Megan033. Very nice puzzle. Uh, good, good clues. And it, it, you can follow it around pretty easily around the board, which I always enjoy. So, really enjoyed that one. Great puzzle, Megan. Uh, see y'all guys later in the next one.